In this unit, we have been reviewing the skills you need to be successful in AP Calculus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve an exponential word problem with the help of our handy dandy TI-84. At time t equals zero, there were 140 million bacteria cells in a petri dish. After six hours, there were 320 million cells. Suppose the population grew exponentially for time t is greater than or equal to zero. To the nearest million, how many cells were in the petri dish 11 hours after the experiment began? So when they say that um, the population grew exponentially, what you should be thinking is we're dealing with a function of this form, f of x. Actually, let me use the variable t because they, they're giving us um, the, the uh, t equals 0 and t is greater than or equal to 0. So let's use the variable t. So f at t should equal a times b to the t power. This is the form of an exponential equation. The variable is the exponent. And of course, you can have um, some type of multiplier in the front that is a constant. Now, our job is to figure out what a and b are so we can have a function that we can use to answer the question. They gave us two initial conditions that we can use to find a and b. They told us that at time t equals zero, there were 140 million bacteria. So they're telling us that f at zero is equal to 140 million. Let's use this and see how far we get. This means if we plug in 0 for t, the answer should be 140. So here's the function a times b to the t power. This will now become a times b to the 0 power and the answer should be 140. Well, if you raise a constant to the zero power, that's just one. So this is now a times one, which equals 140, which means that a is equal to 140. Okay, that's great. I feel like we're, we're halfway there already. So about that calculator, let me just clear this out. Um, I'm going to store the value of a and b into the calculator. This is a skill that you will use very often so if you don't already know how to do this, it's time to learn. We just found that A is 140. So type in 140, hit the store button, and then we're going to pick which variable we're going to use. Obviously, I'm going to pick A since that's the variable that we have. Hit alpha and A. When you hit enter, you have now stored the value of 140 into A. So I don't have to type the 140 again later. This is not a big deal for a uh, simple number like 140, but um, we, we will have some crazy decimals and things, so um, let's just make a habit of this. Uh, in fact, when, you get to, when we get to B in a minute, it is going to be crazy, so you'll be glad I showed you how to do this. By the way, um, if you're just not confident that the uh, 140 truly got stored for A, here's how you check it real quick. Uh, do alpha A and then hit enter and it's telling you yep a is 140 all right okay let's move on to the next part we have another initial condition that we can use to find something else they told us that after six hours there were 320 million cells so that means that um, f at six is equal to 320 million. In other words, if we substitute 6 in for t, the answer should be 320. So here we go. a times b to the 6 power should equal 320. But guess what? We already know what a is. So let's substitute that in. So we have 140 b to the 6 power 
is equal to 320. Um, we're trying to solve for B, so let's divide both sides by 140. I guess I'll show it. And uh, let's see what we get. So B to the sixth power equals. So 320 divided by 140. So we get this decimal. Um, I would prefer a simplified fraction. Let's keep everything exact. No rounding, guys, um, until the last step because you don't want to risk uh, being off by a number and losing a point for that. So uh, math, enter, enter. If I just hit math, enter, enter, I get the fraction uh, 16 over 7. So I have 16 over 7. So if I want to get B by itself, I need to take the sixth root of both sides. So you can see what I mean about we're getting an ugly value for B. But that's okay because we have the store feature now. We have that store button. So we have B by itself, but B is the sixth root of 16 over 7. So let's find that value and store it into the calculator. Um, so how do we do the sixth root? Let's hit the math button and notice that we have the x root is option 5 so I'm just gonna hit a 5. So the sixth root of 16 if I hit alpha y equals I get the fraction menu so I just hit enter so I can do 16 over 7 and I'm going to hit enter and get some wild decimal. Blam! I don't want to have to copy this all down. And I definitely don't want to round and use 1.14 or 1.15. That can throw off my answer. And if you're off by even a single number, you might lose the point on the AP exam. So keep the decimals by using the store button. So I'm going to store that answer. And this is B. So uh, obviously I'm going to choose B. So it's in there. And again, if I were worried about it, I could just type B and hit enter. Yep, B is now all of this. Um, I think I will just, I will write down a, a rounded number just for my notes here. So I have uh, 1.15, let's say. 1.15. Five. Actually, I think I'll write 1.14 and just put some dots to show that it goes on from there. Okay, but I will not use 1.14. I'm going to use uh, what I stored in the calculator. So we have the value of A and B. So I can now go ahead and use this function to find anything I want. So they're asking me to find um, how many cells are in the Petri dish 11 hours after the experiment began. In other words, they're asking me to find um, F at 11. So I'm doing uh, A times B to the 11th power. So um, I'm not going to bother even writing the 140 and the 1.14. I'm just going to use the um, the calculator right now. So I'm doing A times B to the 11th power. I've said what A is and I've said what B is. Um, so this is totally fine um, for the AP graders. So in the calculator, I can now just put um, A times B to the 11th power. So alpha A, alpha B and then to the 11th power. So that's it. If I hit enter, it's going to give me the answer right now. So the direction said to round the answer to the nearest million. So this is in millions. So um, 637 million will be the final answer.
Part B, after how many hours will there be one billion cells? Round to the nearest tenth of an hour. So before we even begin this last part, please understand that our parameters are in millions. Our A value and our B value that we use to build the function, everything's in millions. So we really need to convert from billions to millions. So remember that um, this is a million. I mean, I know you know this, but okay, so there's a thousand, there's a million. If I add an extra three zeros on here, now it's a billion. So those extra three zeros mean times 1,000. So in other words, 1 billion is 1,000 million. So now all of our units are in millions. So if we want to find how many hours it will take to get to 1,000 million cells, um, we're asking, when will f at t equal a thousand? So our function is a times b to the t power. So what t will cause this to equal a thousand? So we just need to solve this equation for t. Remember, we already have the value of a and b, and they're even plugged into the calculator already. So let's divide both sides by a. So that will give us b to the t power is equal to 1,000 over a. I left this space here so I could do this move. If I want to get t by itself, I'm going to do log base b on both sides of the equation. Log base b because log base b and base b are inverses. They cancel each other out. That will leave me with just t. And this is really the answer. I'm gonna need my calculator to get the actual value, but t is equal to the log base b of 1,000 over a. This is just a constant because a is a constant and b is a constant. This whole thing is just a constant. So let's put this into the calculator. All right, so to get the log going, we hit the math button, scroll up, and option A is log base. So we want log base b, and we already have the value of b uh, stored in the calculator. So we go alpha b, and then we need a thousand divided by a. So if you hit alpha y equals enter, you get the fraction going, and we have a thousand over a, which we also have stored in the calculator. So that's it. I'm just going to hit enter, and there you go. So it'll take 14 point, and I believe we are supposed to round to the nearest tenth, so I'm going to say 14.3 hours. And that's the answer.